Hello, welcome back to Studios. And uh, I'm still making background as you can see here. This is one I made earlier on. And I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to do you use Photoshop to create swirls like this. And you don't need any extra plugins or try and download anything like that. So um, let me just go change that, and then uh, we'll get started. Right then, you obviously open your Adobe Photoshop, and then you want to click on File and new doesn't matter what size it is but I'm just gonna pick like a big size so it can fit on my desktop now uh, just fill it with color or oh, you don't have to fill it with color really but I would I don't know just um, do it black now do it black nothing and uh, just click on filter and you want to go to render and go on clouds. Cloud, yeah. The clouds have sort of changed color to whatever colors you have here, but I just picked sort of a green and like a dark purple, so it looks like that. Anyway, that's not fine. Um, you want to go on filter, Ooh, and then you want to go on pixelate, and then you want to go on fifth one down, which is here, muslin tint. You click that, and then you want to scroll down here onto medium strokes, so it should look something like that. Okay. Um, and then you want to just click on blur and then radical blur. Now, what you want to do is uh, you want to click on zoom and best, and then you want to click the amount all the way down. So let's just click OK on that. Let it do its thing. PC is going slow today. There should be a, a new tutorial soon, by the way, um, on Adobe After Effects. But until Marco renders it yet, we will wait and see. Right now, you've done this. You want to right-click on that and duplicate. So, done that. Now, duplicate there. And you want to click on Filter. And you want to go on where is it? Distort, distort, and then go on Twirl. So on Twirl, and then you I don't know. I'm just gonna do about three five odd, so it's like really crazy twirly. And then you wanna click on the bottom one and do exactly the same again, only this time twirl it the opposite direction. So you wanna bring this line and do it over here, and then click OK. Now you're probably thinking, hey, I can't see no difference or whatever. So you wanna click on the top one, and you wanna go to lighten. Light and yeah, so you're like, wow, that's not bad. Yeah, I like that. But I mean, if you want to change the color, you can go to image adjustments and click on huge saturation here. And it'll load up this. Now, as you can see, you can change the color, moving these dials up. Like, if I move this over here, looking a bit weird, like that. and move that down there, see, and now you can change the colors obviously you can change the entire colors when you start at the beginning because whenever you pick your color, when you do the red, when, you, when you start and click on filter and do render clouds, whatever colors are here whatever colors are here that will um, create the clouds and that will pretty much start the colors off anyway but uh... let's change the bottom color just for the, see what I can do with this one, adjustments again Huge saturation, colorize. So you can do things like this. I could decrease it a bit. Don't want to make it too weird, so it hurts your eyes like crazy. <laughs> I think I think I like that. Bit of dark purpley in there. Blue. So now you want to just file, save as. I don't know. I'm just gonna call this testing studios. Studios, and I'm just going to change the format so it is G E J P E G file, JPEG, which is a normal picture file. Save, and then you just want to put the put it high quality, and click OK. And then let's go and have a look what it looks like on my desktop. Right, uh, right click, set as desktop background, and there you go. 
and that's just one simple way of making a quick little weird looking desktop and very bright and colourful but obviously this is a, a sort of a medium not, I wouldn't say it's medium but nearly getting onto medium uh, difficulty but I mean you can use this and then change it around you know put something else in it I think I've only ever used this once and that was to create someone's background and I used that just a tiny bit but nothing special okay this is studio